Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to share a couple of things I've been up to uh, with 3D printing. Love 3D printing, amazing way to get uh, lots of parts that I need for all my projects. But sometimes the parts need joining together or they're not strong enough. So I wanted to show a couple of things I've been uh, working with. The first is at the bottom here, you can see two parts that have been joined together using uh, filament welding, which is where you take one of the cheap sort of £10 pound, um, 3D printing pens and use it to weld parts together. And the top um, is an example. On the left is an original part, but on the right is a part that's had fiberglass embedded, which is a technique I picked up from a very interesting community that's doing actually lots of stuff with 3D printing guns. There's a great uh, guide out there by a guy called Ivan the Troll, who um, is doing all kinds of interesting cutting edge kind of stuff with uh, 3D printing and weapons. Not something uh, that we would agree with on, on all things, but his techniques are fascinating and useful. So the 3D welding, yeah, using one of these cheap pens to bridge small gaps between parts is, it creates a really, really strong bond. Um, in fact, now sometimes I design parts um, with a wedge shape in that allows a lot of surface area for the sort of bead of the weld to be put in. Um, the beauty about it is it slightly melts the workpiece, so it cr creates a really contiguous um, solid if not the most tidiest kind of joint. Really, really useful technique. Um, so the, the fiberglass stuff was sometimes I, I really want a, a 3D printed part that's simply tougher. So I cut and uh, a piece of fiberglass cloth that's um, that was large enough to cover this workpiece and, and had a go. And the, the, the results are amazing, but also messy. So I've cut this video to uh, just show the sort of... Uh, last corner of me applying the, uh, the the fiberglass. So there are no glues involved. What I'm doing is essentially melting the uh, plastic through the fiberglass uh, cloth. Um, and it, it's quite interesting that if you've worked with fiberglass and epoxy, you'll know that sort of um, uh, situation where the, where the fiberglass cloth disappears and becomes sort of transparent as it wets out. And you're sort of aiming for that level of fluid coming through or fluid plastic melted through. I didn't get that right on all of this piece, but this last corner I kind of was getting to the point where I dulled it incorrectly. I used a 40 watt cheap iron, didn't, don't use your best soldering iron. And uh, yeah, the results are, are an incredibly strong, if slightly ugly, kind of workpiece. Um, but you can certainly work this um, cloth into really tight corners and internal radii. So there we go. Have a go. Thanks for watching.